What's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, crazy ketos. ketos. Today we're going to review something that's not a food product. Oh my goodness. We're going to review a soft side cooler from a company called Angle. And we'll do it right, right after, after this. this. So if you're new to our channel, welcome. Like I said, my name is Joe. And I'm Rachel. And we're Two Crazy Ketos. And here on our channel, we do different things like product reviews. We do recipe videos. We talk about various keto topics. And then once a week, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. Where we just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us on different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we also have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video you'll be alerted to it yeah so today's review is a little different than our normal ones well we're not gonna eat it no we're not gonna eat it we're okay. reviewing a soft-sided cooler how are we supposed to eat that give me a knife we'll try <laughs> we got this well here's the thing is in the past I've always like been out on the road because of work and or going to games and I always like stop at the gas station to fill up my drinks. Yeah, it's super cheap. It's and, like 99 cents. Yeah, 99 cents to fill up a big like 100 ounce mug with soda. But now you don't do that anymore and high five. <laughs> See you later aspartame. Yeah, I don't drink the diet soda anymore. So I had to find a way to stay hydrated going to work, especially as we're coming into the summer. Mm -hmm. And so we started looking at different soft-sided coolers. We just we tried one of the, like just the cheapo ones for like 20 bucks that we got at Costco. The problem with the cheapo ones is if you get a soft-sided one, like your whole back seat is soaked. Right. It soaks right through. I actually have a Wonder Woman one, which I love. It's super cute. You don't have a Wonder Woman one anymore. Did you toss it? No, I lent it to my mother and sister when they drove over to Tampa on their way home. So we'll never see that again. <laughs> That's okay. Um, but because I won't miss it because it doesn't do what it's supposed to do, which is keep the outside of it dry. Right. So we bought this one from Costco. It was like $20. I put a bag of ice in it. And after I put a bag of ice in it, I can fit all of like four bottles of water in it. Right. And two hours later, all the ice was melted and now my back seat was soaking wet. Totally soaked. So we started looking at the little bit more expensive ones and we were considering getting the Yeti one. But we'd have to sell a child. Yeah. Like there's no, there's no way. Well, the bigger problem, I didn't even mind putting the investment into the Yeti one if it was going to do what it was supposed to do because I really I did. What? I have a problem with the investment. Oh. Well, here's the thing is I really wanted a soft side one because I figured I can double it up and use it for when I go to my tournaments and stuff like that because a lot of times at these tournaments, they don't provide us with water. Yeah. So you're on the field for five, six, seven, eight hours in lacrosse season and football season's coming up. Mm -hmm. You definitely have to be staying hydrated. Absolutely. So I didn't mind that, but when I started looking at the Yetis, even the smallest one was only going to hold like six to eight bottles of water after I added ice and I'm going to easily go through that. Sure. And it was like $300. Are you kidding? Oh, it was ridiculously expensive. Ooh. So, and I didn't want a hard one because they're really heavy and then, you know, it'd be great if it was just staying in my truck, but I want to be able to carry it. So there has to be something in the, in the middle between totally stinks and lifestyles of the rich and famous. Well, I found one. So what I started doing my research and I found this one here, and this is from a company called Angle. Mm -hmm. We're going to do our best. Why don't you scoot down so we We're can We're going to have to angle the shot. Get it? <laughs> so we found this one from Angle and it turns out it's actually even better than the Yeti. That's, that's not possible. It is, is it? absolutely possible. So a little bit about this. This is a 32-quart cooler, so it's slightly bigger. Okay. But it works wonders. It does have, like, these handles so that you can carry it mm -hmm. up here, if I can find the handle. There's a handle here that kind of zip comes together. Nice. Plus it's got a shoulder strap that you can see here. I need that. I yeah. don't want to. I don't want to hold it. With and this. the nice shoulder strap is that it can go on the one shoulder, or you can kind of put it across your body, which is how Anthony actually carried it. it looks like it has these. And then two. it also has handles over here on the side. That's when you have to just hoist it up. Right, and you'll see that there's like little clips right here for clipping your straps on, so you can kind of do it any way you want. And they also even have a bottle opener, even mm -hmm. though none of us on keto are going to drink 
like, oh, I guess, I don't know. Wine coolers? Wine coolers. Not really happening. <laughs> so the reason that we decided, I'm going to put this off to the side to, for a second. The reason we decided to review this, right, for our channel was because a lot of people are coming into the summer on keto, maybe going on picnics. And you're definitely going to be taking your food with you. Yeah. Because you're not going to be able to probably find stuff on the road you know, as easily. Right. I mean, you can find some keto snacks, but you're going to want to bring your entire meal. Right. Or maybe you're going camping. You know, I know a lot of our subscribers go camping. Yes. Or going to, to the beach. Take us with you. Yeah, we're definitely, so we're so ready to go camping. Some of the beautiful spots that they're taking pictures of too are like amazing. I'm a little jealous. Like postcards. Yeah. So a little bit more about this thing here. So in the front, they have a zipper pocket mm -hmm. that keeps stuff dry. And I actually... Just see, because I had a tournament. So here's the little card that came with it. Oh. But look what I got in here. I got some zip fizzes. Got some zip fizz. And I've got my little true lemons. They got a little, like, hot. I, yeah. And I have my electrolyte drops. Nice. So you got And then you they Peter also Ray. give you a zipper lubricant. What is a zipper and this lubricant? This is a silicone lubricant because the zipper up here on the top, yeah. if you can see it, this is a waterproof zipper. Huh. So what's one of the problems that even if the bag itself doesn't sweat with all the soft-sided coolers, you ever what happens? Yeah, right out the zipper. Yep. So you kind of turn it over, all of a sudden... Pours out. Pours all the water out. So the inside of this one is completely lined. You can see inside Ooh, of there. This squishy stuff? And it's got a closed cell foam in between the inside layer and the outside layer. Huh. So that the wa so that you can't get the heat, you can't lose the cold, and the heat can't come in. It's very thick. Okay, and then it also has something that nobody else has. So you see this little port here. This little port is not a drain port. Okay. Okay. So what you do is you put a vacuum on it, like a little vacuum hose on it for a second. And if you can look inside of this, you can see how there's like, like where you can you want to try to hold, hold that. that. Okay. So you see how like there's a gap like between oh, the yeah. insulation and the plastic lining. Uh -huh. So what the vacuum does sucks is it sucks in. all that air out of it what? because now you're not getting, you know, think about it. If you have one layer and then you have another layer, you're going to get hot air trapped in there and huh. it will help it. It'll make it so that like you can lose some of the cold. How cool So that kind of gives you another layer of insulation in there. Neato Kino. Okay, so there's one thing about this cooler. And what is that? It is a bit expensive. Like how expensive? It retails for $200. $200 for a cooler? Yeah, $200 for a cooler, but it really does have a good reputation and it's not as expensive as the Yeti. I was gonna say, is it as expensive as the Yeti? Cause that sounds terrible. No, it's actually about a hundred dollars cheaper than the Yeti. You know me, I research any purchase I'm gonna make, especially if it's yeah. a significant purchase. Like, you know, maybe not like a $5 thing, but we're looking at a TV or a cooler. You're gonna be on the computer for hours. Yeah, Rachel gets a little upset. Like I will just go out there and like be looking up every single comparison, every review, but I wanna make a good wise purchase. Well, and that's what we, why we call them Joe deals. <laughs> Because you usually do hunt down a good deal. I purchase. hunt down good deals, find coupons. But that's a lot like of that. money. Yeah, but that's see, here's an investment. the investment. That this one turns out to be, by, by all the reviewers, much better. The ice lasts longer. The company is actually based right here in Florida. Huh. Okay, so what we did was this we really wanted to test it. And that's why we decided to do this review because we really were shocked by the results. Yeah. Okay, so I took this to a lacrosse tournament. And I kind of, I put one bag of ice and this is 32 quarts. So it'll hold a lot more ice. I put one bag of ice. I put some warm sodas and waters in there. Like not cold, not out of the ice box. Not like, out of the ice box, not out of the refrigerator or anything like did that. Did I say ice box? You is said ice box. the 1950s? Box. Yeah. I figured you were thinking about a cooler, but. Refrigerator. I was trying to be nice. Thank you. I'm aging. <laughs> so we put it in there. We went to our tournament. It was 95 degrees on the lacrosse field. And you're on an open field. We were on an there open field. There is no shade. Six games. So what I did was we filmed putting it in, and then we kind of checked in on it every few hours. We were opening it every half hour to get a fresh water out of it. So you're going to put that footage so in? So we're going to roll that footage right now. And then what happened was is at the end of the day, you know, it was still loaded with ice. So we let it go until all the ice was gone. So let's take a look at what happened in the footage. All right. Okay, so inside here we have a couple of Zevias, we have a couple of seltzer waters, and we have a bunch of bottles of water. 
Uh, it's about a third of the way full with stuff. It's kind of hard to tell the depth. And what we're gonna do, all of this stuff is at room temperature. We're gonna add one bag of ice and then we're gonna go out on the field, see how long it lasts. And I'm figuring, considering everything's at room temperature and we're not gonna fill it all the way with ice, this will last about a day and a half, but we'll see. And this is what it looks like with one bag of ice. It's about half full. And I also put a keto brick in there to keep it cold. Okay, so I've been on the field for about three hours. Uh, it's about 95 degrees out here and I've actually added some more waters into here. And you can see so far the ice is not really melting. Everything is really super cold. So we'll check it out later on in the day. I've got five more games today. So it's three o'clock, our games are over. I just got home. Now I put that ice in there at 7 a.m. And uh, the air temperature was about 95 degrees, but the cooler was sitting out in full sun the entire day. So let's take a look at where the ice is now. Okay, so I can try to do this with one hand and you can see the ice is still pretty much not melted. If I can reach down, there's a little bit of water in the bottom, but not much. And you can see the cooler is still about half full, which is where we pretty much left it. And we still have a bunch of waters in there. And we did open this thing up about every half hour to pull out more water and put a couple more waters in. But the waters were always warm when we put them in, so not a bad job. On the next morning, so let's take a look at the ice. And again, everything's been in here since 7 a.m. yesterday. So it's been about 27 hours since we put the ice in the drinks. And remember, we did not fill this up. We only had it about halfway. And you can see, wow, there's still a lot of ice left in here. Now the overnight temperature here was about 85 degrees. And uh, it's doing pretty good. So we're gonna keep letting this go and see how long this lasts. Okay, Monday morning, it's 9 a.m. So we're about 50 hours since we put the ice in here. Let's take a look at how we're doing. Wow, look at that. And again, we only filled this up with a bag of ice. We were only about halfway full. So you didn't have like a lot of cold trapped in there, but there is still a lot of ice left in this. Definitely impressed with this bag. We're gonna let it keep going. Okay, so it's three days later. So it's been about 74 hours since we put the ice in. Let's take a look. Okay, so all of the ice is completely melted now, but this water is freezing cold. So let's go back and talk about uh, what the results of this were. So weren't those incredible results? Okay, so that's wild. So sometime in hour 70, the, the ice finally gave out. Yeah, so when we went to bed, like on the second day, somewhere around like hour 68, there was still ice in there. That's amazing. And then when I checked it the next morning at hour 74, the ice was gone. Freezing cold water. But the water was cold where it would have kept all of those drinks, uh, the few drinks that were left in there, cold for the entire day. That's amazing. Okay, so that's good. If you're going to go camping, you're going to go all day long to a water park, your bag is going to be sitting out in the blistering sun, you're going to know your stuff yeah, is still Yeah, I mean, good. nobody wants to go to the beach or go out just for a long day trip, maybe cycling or something like that, and you know, get back to their cooler three hours later and everything is sitting in a pool of water yeah. and nothing is you know cold anymore. Well, I think too about like your mom and Terry, they go to like the Amish country and they'll buy like meats and they'll buy cheeses and all those kind of things. And, and you wanna keep it cold. Right, and they want to be able to, from the first vendor they visit to the last vendor they visit. Yeah, because they when visit, they go home, they have like what a five or six hour drive to get back home. You don't wanna take a chance on any of that stuff going bad. I mean, that's not soda. Now you're talking about making yourself sick. Right, and now, see here's the thing. I don't think most people who are going to use a soft side cooler don't need the ice to go three or four days. Yeah. Okay. And the other thing that you have to remember, we didn't fill this up. Mm. We didn't fill it up. True. After it was filled with only one bag of ice right. and my drinks, the cooler wasn't even half full, which means you still had all of that air in there. Yeah. If I would have filled this all the way up, their claim is it'll last up to five days. I believe that if it doesn't have, if it was filled up. If we would have filled it all the way up and packed it in there, think about your refrigerator. Like they say your refrigerator, refrigerator is more efficient the fuller it is. That's amazing. So, you know, I'm super impressed that with one bag of ice and those drinks that went in warm, it was still had ice in it two and a half days later. Side note, I am less productive the more full I am. <laughs> 
right? I'm less Let's efficient. Let's move this off to the side a little bit. Where's this thing? There we go. We'll put it over there. Now we can see us better. Hello. Well, it's pretty. Yeah, they have it in a few different colors. I will leave a link down below. Was this the most manliest of the no, colors? No, they, they have like three different like dark gray ones and then it's like different color like for the stitching and stuff. I noticed you didn't go with like purple and daisies. No, they don't have that. They literally have four colors. Okay. So they also have a backpack version. Ooh, I okay, like that. It's a little bit smaller uh -huh. and it doesn't have that vacuum thing, but it's a backpack so you can wear it on your back. Okay, I would like that. And I'll leave a link for that one down below as well. That's neat. That's you convenient. Know? Yeah. Oh, by the way, we did test out the water zipper as well. We got ballsy because it was we full brought of water. It, we brought it in the house. Yeah. I don't know what I was thinking because if it Over didn't the wood work, floor. if it didn't work, I would have had a mess. Yeah. Even Tabitha was looking at us like, what are you doing? <laughs> Yeah, so after all the ice melted, we brought it in over our wood floor. I don't know why. We turned it upside down and, and Not a kept drop. shaking it and everything else, and nothing came out. So, yeah, it is a little bit of an expensive cooler, but, again, I don't think anybody really is looking at a soft-side cooler to go three days. I think you're usually thinking, like, if you can get your, like, hard igloo cooler, cooler to go three days, you'd be happy, right? Yeah. But just the fact that it does it means that you're not going to have any issues if you're going on a long day trip or maybe nope. overnight or something like that, maybe you're doing a 24 hour road trip. Yeah. And absolutely. you want to keep like, you know, everything cold for your entire drive. I would go like straight to the grocery store and just like pack it from the grocery store and then leave on my trip. Yeah. Right. And again, so I researched, I looked at about six different brands of coolers mm -hmm. and this was the one I watched like a lot of different review people where they like lined them all up. And this one beat every single one of them, including the Yeti, which is considered to be like the gold standard of coolers. Now, I did see a lookalike in Walmart yes. that looked kind of like had the same coloring and stuff. Yeah, the one kind of I looked lining. at that one, the one it was like an Ozark, and it's actually comparable to another brand. It's mm -hmm. much more comparable to another brand than this one. Because it was like 55 bucks. It was $55, but I was actually, it's funny you had mentioned that to yeah. me. You're like, what about that one at Walmart? And I'm like, I've seen the reviews on it. It's not that great. And when I went to my tournament that day, there was a guy who had it. And oh. he said the ice usually lasts maybe a half a day, which might be fine for hey. most people. But again, we're in South Florida. I'm outside all day. I'm going to be leaving this cooler in a truck that like when I'm doing a bunch of lawns, that truck's going to get up to 110, 120 degrees. If we go to an outdoor marketplace, like you can't bring a normal cooler if right. you want your stuff to come home in good shape. And again, with football season coming... You know, we, we get there at 8 a.m. We're there till 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Most of our games are on AstroTurf. That AstroTurf can be up, uh, up to 120, 130 degrees, like, on the field itself. Yeah. I need something that's going to keep my eyes all day. That's something to take to Aldi's with me, too. Because yeah. a lot of times, or Pin Dutch, because a lot of times I'll, I'll go to multiple stores. But right now, you can't leave anything in the car, like bacon or ham or your lunch meat and stuff. That's right. You want to keep it cold the whole time you're shopping. And yeah. That'll do it. So I know it's not a food product. We but, didn't eat it. But I did think that a lot of people who watch our channel might be interested in something like this because so many people do like go on outings and go camping and stuff like that and might be looking for some kind of a soft-sided cooler. And there's not a whole lot of reviews on this. That's why I wanted to share it with people just because I'd rather somebody go and find a little bit better product at less money than just going and buying what everybody considers to be like the top one, which is Yeti. Yeah, me too. Because so. that's... A lot of money. A lot, a lot of money. Yeah. So that is our video for today. Hopefully we've helped you guys out and given you a little bit of information. Let us know down in the comments section if you've ever heard of this brand or if you've ever tried this brand. Maybe you own one. Or do you have a favorite cooler? Or do you have a favorite cooler? Have you tried any other ones? Let us know down below. And again, we will leave a link for this. Uh, down below in the description. Well, this one and the backpack version, just in case somebody wants to see the backpack yeah, version. Yeah, because I think the backpack version would be fun for like hikes or camping. Oh yeah, that's exactly what it's designed for. Serious. So. so if you like what you saw, do us a favor, hit the like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. And until next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.